Hi everyone. So mm, I've been deliberating about whether I wanted to do this for a very long while. Talked to quite a few friends, and finally, you know, here I am. I finally decided to start doing this, right? And how do we begin today, right? So this is uh, the first of the series, and you can address me as the paperback podcaster, PVP for short. Uh, well. You know, as for my real identity, let's leave it as a secret for now. Well, the purpose of uh, making this series of videos is to share with everyone some of the lessons and thoughts that I have uh, went through, and, and these are very valuable lessons, right? And I, I hope that some of these lessons that I'm going to share with all of you will benefit maybe some of you, may not be everyone. And hopefully, you can avoid some of the costly mistakes which I'm going to share with you over the course of the next many weeks. Let's begin today. I happen to, you know, have been involved in a lawsuit. It was very unfortunate. And this also happened in court, you know. I appeared in court and then I, uh, and the judge was um, looking at me and the plaintiff, I was the defendant. So then uh, I told the judge, Your Honor, I had no idea that I was brought to court for such claims, which I thought had been earlier amicably resolved. You know, I told the judge that I didn't think that I should be brought to court because plaintiff and I had came to agreement on uh, a settlement for our dispute. However, the judge showed no mercy. Right? The judge didn't give any, um, didn't feel sorry at all for my case. So the judge said that, told me that the plaintiff under the law had every right to bring me to court. And that very moment felt like it was a scene from the movies, you know. I, I used to watch um, all those Hollywood films and, and I thought that such a scene would never have happened to me. I wouldn't have been, you know. Uh, they brought to court and be questioned, you know, for things that I didn't think was a problem. But uh, being brought to court taught me a very important lesson, one which I'll never forget. Let me share with you more. Lesson one, your lawyers are not your best friends. When I was brought to court, I depended a lot on my lawyer to defend my interests. I depended a lot on my lawyer to advise me what I should do, what I should say, and how do I ensure that my interests are protected. And while I was in court and being questioned, then I realized that, hey, my lawyer was truly on my side. However, my law was more on my bank account side. Why so? My lawyer charged me for all the services rendered, for advice given, for whatever review work done. Yes, they were on my site, but they were on my account site. They built me for whatever work done, but then in court, I was still left to my own devices. You know, I'm not sure whether you heard of this uh, statement from Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett said that, never ask a barber if you need a haircut. That is very apt because there is a real moral hazard in this uh, lawyer-client relationship where the lawyer had no real incentive to go out and defend the interests of the client. And in my case, I was the client and my lawyer had no interest in defending me. Everything in court was simply against me. And it was a shock. It was a rude shock. Right. I paid my lawyers. I never owed them money. And yet, what happened was that when I went to court, everything was against me. Another lesson very important to also share with everyone is that your bankers are also not your best friends. Well, why so? Have you ever read uh, Fred Sweat's book titled Where Are the Customers Yorks? Yes, you can get it from Google Books. Right. Uh, the title of the book is very memorable and I have never failed to cite the same story to many of my friends, you know. 
And this title of the book referred to a very old joke about a tourist being shown all the fancy boats in the harbour and was told these are the banker's yachts and these are the stockbroker's yachts. When the tourist asked innocently where are the customer's yachts, of course he was told that there weren't any. Why? Because obviously the bankers and stockbrokers have made all of the money and the clients had nothing left. And that truly was the case and the experience I had. Bankers may not necessarily have your best interest in mind, you know. And in many cases, their professional interests are surely not those in your best interest. I ever came across this uh, particular uh, broker. Right? He was a very friendly chap. He got friendlier still when I did, you know, more transactions, you know, in my stock brokerage account. And the more I did, the friendly he got, right? And he gave certain tips, right? And you know, initially I thought that, well, oh, this tip sounds like uh, he, you know, is very useful for me to take advantage of in growing my bank account. However, little did I realize that the reason why he gave all those tips was that he really wanted me to have more transactions so that he can earn more commission out of it. So you have to bear in mind that bankers not, do not necessarily do things for charity's sake. There is always under, an underlying reason. Remember that if someone were to give you an advice and that could make you better off, you have to ask yourself carefully, don't they have better things to do than to share with you this hot tip? Right. I remember uh, Howard Mark saying this, you know, in one of his um, uh, interviews. He questioned, he, you know, that why would someone want to give you a hot tip, you know, on TV? Don't they have that anything better else to do? Right. So, I advise people watching this video that, you know, your bankers are definitely not your best friends. Just remember that, you know, because behind whatever action that they conduct. They have certain financial interests, after all, at the end of it. Now, the lesson I have to share with everyone today is that you have to be very careful of these professionals. You know, I, I see many professionals in my life. I'm not that young, right? Although I call myself the paperback, um, you know, uh, uh, podcaster, right? But uh, the honest truth is that I worked you know, in the commercial world for years, and I see many professionals, and including my own friends, who are so-called professionals, they provide financial advice, advisory work, and whatever that they say at the end of it carries a lot of um, financial, vested financial interests, right? So bear in mind that no one gives you good advice, unless you happen to be receiving a lecture from your parents, you know, Yes, then you get very good advice, but that's very unpleasant good advice. The next point is that good lessons are not learned from consulting advice given by professionals. Remember, they are incentivized to work. They don't work for charity. And because they are incentivized to work, they would probably work in ways that are not necessarily in and in your best interest. So if a financial advisor, broker, lawyer, banker, or what other type of professional would tell you some great secret to instant profits is probably fake news. Don't forget the earlier point that these guys have more to gain in sharing insights with you, right? Why would someone come up to you and tell you that, hey, there's some hot tip and, and that if you're going to take advantage of that, you'll probably be financially well off. Remember, there is no free lunch in this world. You have to act with a mighty pinch of professional cynicism no one will be there to watch your back. You have to do your own due diligence, right? Having said that, you know, these are very simple principles in life. In fact, not just in corporate, but also investments. You know, there, there is uh, no free lunch really. There is no such thing as uh, advice coming from nowhere and you are able to benefit from it freely. Everything that comes to you comes at a price, comes at a cost. Right. So <clears throat> I hope that this has been uh, informative to you. 
right? I speak with uh, some of my uh, past experience. And in this series of videos, I'll be sharing with you more about investments, finance, and my previous corporate work experience. I hope that this will be uh, informative to you. And, and of course, um, you know, if you do like my videos, do uh, click on the like button, right? So, till then, and I look forward to um, hearing any of your comments about my videos. Thank you and have a very good day.